into the winner's side of Top 96 versus the Prodigy himself, MK Leo, all the way from Mexico. This is going to be a really exciting match to watch. Yeah, Masashi has been going cloud for the longest time, and we all know Leo goes cloud, and he's pretty much a cloud mirror specialist. Oh, yeah. I actually saw Masashi practicing against, uh, what was it, Earth. So I'm guessing Earth might be expecting to face off against MKLeo, but here we go. We're first gonna go into the Cloud Mirror, and here it is right now, some patient play. Both players feel each other out, while MKLeo doing a pretty decent job of at least pushing Masashi to the corner whenever he has the opportunity. Yeah, now everybody knows that Japan, no stranger to Cloud. Everybody knows the matchup. There's a whole lot of Clouds here, and all of them are pretty good, but Masashi definitely one of the top class, regularly top 16 in even the most difficult Japanese tournaments. And if you kind of watch what's going on between both of these players, the match is pretty darn even. Right here, MKLeo with the double back here, and that's, okay, right there, Masashi actually still had his double jump, so stock is not going to be gone yet. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the Blade Gleam. Even at high percents, it doesn't really seem to do a lot. Obviously, the Limit version is way better than that, though. And there's that beautiful anti-air you saw from MKLeo. First off, he racks up a lot of damage. Doesn't quite get a KO, but, I mean, Cross Slash is just such a good move. Here it is, though. MKLeo looking to end the stock. He can't get too obvious here. Yeah, I mean, MKLeo down by almost half the percent that Masashi has, but Masashi has limit on deck, so this game could be swung in either direction in any second now. I really feel like that decision when you saw Akira try to set up for the up smash, the way that Masashi responded with the down air, it was definitely something I didn't expect to see. But here it is, MKLeo reads the jump from the edge and manages to take that first stop. Yeah, a really common punish in these cloud mirrors. When you see him jump off the ledge, it's really quick to just jump and up air them right off the top. Mm -hmm. Here it is. <laughs> It looks like MKLeo probably trying to set up for that down air footstool combo. Now you see that Cloud's still at zero. Um, looking to see if he can get more damage on Masashi before he loses this stock, though. Masashi yeah. playing very safe. Yeah, you know, this, this game one is going to be extremely critical. Like, while there are many clouds and the cloud mirror can be different based on who you are, I, as soon as Leo finds out what kind of cloud he's dealing with, he should be able to dissect and download very quickly. Yep, and here it is. Masashi not allowing MKLeo to even get any grabs. You see Mas uh, MKLeo inching forward closer and closer, but Masashi just keeps taking to the skies. MKLeo burning that limit just to push Masashi away from the edge. And getting punished for it. Mm. There it is, a 43% lead for MKLeo. Probably going to see more back air spacing, but do note that Masashi does have limit right now. Yeah, I mean, that extra credit is not a lot. 43% is an F, so there's not really a lot of difference here in this match. Already all the, all the way up to 23%. It is again Masashi even using Cloud's dash just to stay away from MKLeo, but that sneaky down tilt right there just to pop Masashi back in the sky. Yeah, but Masashi dangerous here with the limit. He just needs a quick combo into a limit combo, and that could be Leo's stock. Uh oh, and here it is. You see how Masashi, he, <gasps> that up tilt was actually pretty good punishment. I don't right there think he the has a jump either. Oh, okay. I thought we were going to see maybe a bigger punish, like a finishing touch. The amount of percent that you saw MK Leo had, maybe a finishing touch could have KO'd him right there, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, most mm. Japanese clouds, you notice, kind of the opposite of uh, Mewtwo King, definitely saving their limits to the very last minute. Yeah, here it is, though, MK Leo. Okay, that, that, I saw the idea right there with the dash attack. Wanted to use it as an anti-air, but just a little too late. This is such a dangerous situation for Leo, being at such high percent while his opponent has limit and he doesn't. Yep. But he actually burns it. Yeah, actually just forcing Masashi off stage with that uh, with that neutral air. But ooh, Masashi in a good position. Doesn't go for the runoff neutral air. He's waiting. Okay, good stuff right there. Mas uh, all MK Leo did was just use Cloud's quick dash to get back in there, but Masashi taking him out. Oh, the last hitbox right there of the up air, and Masashi in a very tough spot. Is he going to land? Okay, good drift, good drift. No dash attacks or anything to kind of scare him. The smash is so incredibly even. Oh, yeah. Okay. And look at the percentages, too. Oh, what if What if there was a duck? That is, that is, that is, such, that is such a tough up beat, because you know if you're not right next to the ledge, you're not going to snap that ledge, so yeah. he can hit him with the dare. Obviously, Leo, knowing that being such a... Cloud specialist. Yeah, yeah. I really thought we were going to see potentially like a tech from Masashi because yeah. the tables would have turned. Masashi would have been edge guarding Leo and Leo would have been in a tough spot. But good stuff. Leo does manage to take this and I think it's a two out of three here, right? Uh, yeah, it's still two out of three until yeah. top 16 according to the TOs. There you go. All right. So here it is. MK Leo back to the spacing with the back airs and he noticed that Masashi likes to just like go towards the corner a little bit. That was actually a pretty interesting setup there. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of, like, Cloud's throw project uh, trajectory is pretty easy to, uh, 
use, so you can just read your opponent and react accordingly. Yeah, what, what you did see right there with the dash attack. He followed the drift from Masashi, but here, some up airs from MK. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, Masashi. <laughs> just, oh, oh. Too far away. I'm surprised he went for that second hit. Maybe he was trying to drag him down with him, but still probably a poor decision on Leo's part. You know what's interesting, uh, Vaxxed? Seeing how close it was in game one between Masashi and MKLeo, I don't think an SD is what MKLeo is going to want in a situation like this. Seeing how Masashi was kind of able to keep up with him. Yeah, for sure. He, he seems to be able to read how he's coming back to the ledge and using up airs, up tilts, etc. to make sure that he doesn't come back down. Mm, and Masashi does not rush back on stage to get caught by that F smash on Wake Up. Leo's still doing pretty decent here, Lee, here though. Yeah, Masashi's just a shining example of the average Japanese player who he's playing playing Smash for decades, but has always moved on to the next game, and those skills transferring over here. That is so true. Here it is, Leo, unable to get that KO, high ceiling right here, coming to play. Now Leo still trying to make things happen, only at 31% and with limit, so this match could be flipped around in an instant. I have to say, Lemk Leo's spacing is so good because you notice when he went for that short hop, Masashi tried to punish with a dash attack, still no KO there, and he just always keeps re repositioning himself outside of Masashi's punishes, except now as he's taking a lot of yeah. damage. As I was saying earlier, he seems to know how to make sure that he doesn't get back to the ground, racking up that damage already up to 65%. And no up here. Okay, there it is. Dash attack, 65% deficit. Will he be able to bring it back? We've seen MK Leo's punish game before. He does have the limit. Ooh, Masashi just straight up cut him. Yeah, the cross slash without limit is actually one of the best moves to rack up damage. Doing a solid 18 to 19% when it's unstale. Yeah, man, now we have MK Leo 97% on the verge of losing a stock very soon. Yeah, it could be anything with rage and limit. He just needs a quick combo and a finishing touch, and this could actually go MK Leo's way, winning 2-0. So anything could happen at this point. Dude, this is this is one of the ancients of melee right here, keeping up with MK Leo. Now he has limit on deck. This is a and he burned his limit too. This is a very dangerous position oh, for Leo. But Masashi, I mean, he's using Cloud as long. Wait. Damn. Oh, just barely off the top corner of that blast zone. One one. And now let's not forget that we did see an SD there. But still, I mean, Masashi definitely showed a lot of skill right there in the, in the matchup. You know, there are so many great cloud mains here in Japan that he's probably able to practice with, right? Mm -hmm. You said the character's fairly popular, not only here in Japan, but worldwide, right? Yeah, I mean, when the visiting players came here for Umebra, SAT, and uh, Tokaigi, they said it didn't matter what cloud they played against, they're all super, super good. Yeah, Two, yeah. One, here it is. Go. Both of these players Ooh. are locked in. The quick charge. Who's going to get there first? It looks like maybe Masashi. I think Le uh, Leo wait, wait, might. Leo? Leo wins? He wins yeah, because Masashi did a little bit of a dash at first. Oh, yeah, true. Okay. Let's see. Our okay, it looks like right there. So MK Leo was counting on Masashi going for a show hop and try to counter it right there with the up air. And it's working out for him as he has, like, MK Masashi pass 50%. Yeah, Leo is using his, giving him a taste of his own medicine here, making sure he cannot get back to the ground. Mm -hmm using Cloud's dash just to avoid any attacks from Masashi. Very good evasive movement right there. Oh, and oh that, that was a lightning bolt. Yeah, definitely. I thought it was going to be a zero to death. Oh. And MKLeo still has limit. <gasps> okay, I thought he was going to probably do a limit climb hazard as you saw Masashi jumping towards him. Uh, that's not a percent that it'll kill just yet. Oh, now they're both down limits. And the punish? Oh, Almost. there's startup right there on that forward smash. Again, that oh. anti-air cross-slash, one of the best things you could do when you don't have limit. Okay, yeah, that's def definitely unsafe. But right there, that tech will actually allow Masashi to avoid the follow-up on the platform. And good down smash for that MK Leo. Set up time. Oh, Very what a clean. nice edge guard situation. He definitely doesn't have a jump, and that will end his stock. Yeah, that was a really clean reverse neutral just to take that. And here it is, already zipping out of that corner situation. Look at him. It's almost hard to catch MK Leo now. He kind of, he might have a, a bead on uh, Masashi's movement here. Mm, yeah. Yeah. This is definitely a completely different game from what we saw in game two. Mm. Masashi's still trying to bring it back. Leo yeah. only at 70% though. Dang, and he overshot that up air. He's really just chasing down Masashi and catching his, uh, his escape routes. He understands. He understands. Wow. Beautiful punish right there. It's not going to kill, but oh, this is not a good position for Masashi. Leo just completely downloading him and just taking him out this third game. Not even wow, close. Wow, that was ridiculous. 2-1 victory. MK Leo 
I have to say, man, the moment I saw that one situation where MKLeo chased down Masashi, overshot the upper, caught Masashi as he was short hopping, I was like, okay, he has the, he has the down one. Yeah, he's got yeah, it. He's got it. Leo has played against so many different clouds in his life that once he figures out what kind of options you're going to go for, since I don't think anybody knows the character better than him. So as soon as he knows, like, consider yourself on notice. Man, that was... That was really exciting, though. Yeah. Definitely an exciting match to watch. I mean, speaking of exciting, mm -hmm. I was told that the next match on deck is possibly the most explosive round one match we have, which is Mewtwo King versus Kameme. As Kameme, now actually speaking of the devil, comes right on top. Yep, he is coming up on stage, about to plug in his controller, and we're looking for Mewtwo King right now. Oh, he's almost certainly playing friendly somewhere. Yep, yep, we're going to need the Teals to summon him per usual. But, uh, you know, you can't blame him. This guy wants to keep practicing to make sure that he's in tip-top shape so that he can win his 